Dialogue and Exchange on the TED Radio Hour. Got a feeling it's gonna rain later and I'd rather not. Wow, coats are heavy. Headed out to meeting number one. Meeting number one, begin. (laughs) Went well. Time for meeting number two. All right, so meeting number two was actually a little bit late, so I'm gonna go walk around. Meeting two was, um, I'm gonna go with interesting. But yeah, I gotta go ahead and head over to the office and get the new client. Oh yeah, I got a new client. It's book work time. An hour parking. Yeah, the drive to get back to the office was like an hour. I spent an hour going to my locations, running across the street, and then another hour uh, getting over here. So I listened to like two hours of NPR, or specifically the TED radio hour. Work, 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 work. Interesting day at work didn't record any of it but it was interesting all right hey everyone uh, welcome to episode 35 we're at 35 now I'm pretty sure just got back uh, had a pretty good sale today I wanted to talk about TED radio hour episodes that I have um, been listening to in the car like I don't do as much reading as I should I try I, I most of my books are audiobooks these days because I just I drive so often with what I do um, but I wanted to talk about a couple of the topics um, once I read um, a little bit more of the source material I'm just like fascinated with the topic and I feel like so much of it is framed around mindset like the mindset that you approach or that you have when you approach different topics of communication because there's like there's two different people two different concepts and ideas that are trying to be exchanged and i feel like a lot of the time that just does not happen when we're trying to communicate and i'm i'm completely guilty of this too but it's just great i I love uh, diving into the subject and just like exploring it a little bit but right now i actually do have quite a bit of editing to do for the course So I've been just slow on it and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So for now, at least, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break, get to editing, and then I'll come back to this topic uh, here in a minute. So I'll be right back. So I got a quick minute. Um, my the editing that I was doing, it's gonna take. Uh, it's it's rendering right now, so it should be ready in about four hours. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. My computer's not that fast. The TED Radio Hour episode that I wanted to talk about, it's actually um, it's called Dialogue and Exchange, and there's a guy in there named Rob Willer. his favorite saying it's called we the people and it's this thing that we have in american but with communication i mean there is probably no better example at least in this country of a divide in communication where you have two sides just polarized who don't want to talk to each other i think at the heart of it um at least i believe that a lot of it comes down to just a, like a miscommunication in values generally most people want like at the at their core they want the same things they you know they want to feel included, they want to feel safe, they want to make sure their needs are being met for both themselves as well as their loved ones, people they care about. Um, I think that the way that we go about trying to accomplish these things is often different and seems wildly different, but if we spend no time communicating and working together, then I think those that really only serves to bri- to widen the gap rather than bridge the gap. I think their you know shouting matches are not very productive, but having an open mind, um, being willing to listen to the other side, whether or not you think that they're ever going to change their mind or not, the sense of willingness to understand the other side probably the best starting point to actually um, beginning to bridge uh, any sort of gap that might be there. This saying, I'm not sure where it came from, if you wish to be understood, then you must first seek to understand. And it's very, it's incredibly frustrating most, all of the time. Um, But at the same time, I think it also yields some of the best results when it comes to actually trying to um, build bridge, build empathy, or try to be un- being understood by other people. If we want to grow, if we want to move forward, we need to hear opinions that we find repulsive and listen to those opinions. We can't just surround ourselves with 
with ideas that we find that we support because that really only serves to support our own um, and it's difficult to really achieve growth when we're not challenged. Um, ideas can either be solidified or they can be changed based on whatever we happen to be challenging them with and if you're never challenging anything then it's very difficult to grow like if you're exercising and you never work to put pressure and resistance on your muscles then you will not become toned you'll never get bigger or leaner or whatever it is that you were or you're going for the same thing is true for our, our mindset and our ability to listen and to bridge connection with others uh, if we're never challenging our opinions and our thoughts and our ideas and concepts those ideas and concepts might never you know undergo the stress that they need to really become strengthened in whatever I'm not saying to always question yourself um, maybe I am a little bit anyway this is all like rooted in mindset I should probably write out an essay because again <laughs> lack of practice lack of speaking enough makes everything come out all jumbled I'll, I'll include links to all the sources um, all the sources <laughs> there's I guess there's a series of TED talks that I want to link to in a few quotes but all right so there you have a clip of me trying to put out a thought on something that I had listened to without really trying to prepare on how to speak about it. and again this is a daily vlog this is for me to practice doing that because if I wasn't doing this then like I wasn't doing this before and I was not practicing so that's what this is for and I guess um, everyone gets to see how I, I progress <laughs> as I do this more and more often. Love the concept of building communication and connection with others and um, growth through adversity is a running theme through a lot of what I try to do, whether that's just through adver like putting my own physical body through adversity, whether it's through cold meditation or through exercise, or if it's mentally through just reading different things and talking and having, having like just these conversations with people on concepts that I may not be familiar with or may disagree with, I think. Um, thank you for checking out my daily vlog and I will see you all next time. Vlog 35 is over. Hmm. I feel like the monkey's more expressive. <laughs>